hello friends good morning good afternoon good evening so as you understand this video is about you know different type of tiers of college which exist for engineering and how to make a decision about the um, which college you you want to go for it or you should go for it and what are the factors and uh, how do you select the colleges right so let's let's first see the factors right so one of the most important factor is the job opportunities and the high salaries which particular college provides right and i have seen most of you are always behind this factor right the second is the interest in specific branch right which college has a good number of good branch in the interest area what you are looking for right for example there are good college for mechanical there are good college for electrical there are good college for computer science and so on right so what type of profile and what you want to do after your graduation be right you want to go for higher studies which is m tech or mba or you want to go into research field and all those so that is the second most important factor the third is the brand right so which is related to you know what college you are status of the college iits triple iits nits vellore manipal and all the brands which you can consider rv college or any of them which you want to study right the next one is the proximity to home how close is the college to your home and how much uh, and of money you can spend on reaching college or taking hostel the next is the government job if you are looking for government job there are specific colleges which will be better uh, providing better opportunities and then there could be any other reason like your friend is joining that college and many other reasons could be there right for selecting that specific college so now i am showing you the four tiers of college right so you how you define that you know high tier, first tier is the high court tier right where you are going to get a very high paying jobs right so that is the best tier you everybody wants to be there where most students want a high salaries right and the chances of getting that jobs in that colleges is extremely high and i'll explain what are those four tiers and within these four tiers also i will explain what are the sub tiers right and which college qualify for those sub tiers so second category is decent college right decent college is you will it will provide a you higher paying jobs and those are visiting to the campus and it actually provides you opportunity to get those high paying job so you will get those high paying job is not a guaranteed but it provides you a very good opportunity to get those high paying jobs typical like a nits right in india the first one is i like iits in india the second one is like nits in india and another you know high rung state colleges so i'll cover that so the third category is you know where you will not get a high paying jobs you know everybody will not get one or two people students may get a very high paying job but most of the people are going to get an average job but your mm, potential of getting job is pretty good that did, you will definitely end up getting sub job from that college it can be average salary job uh, but uh, but it will at least you will have a job right so this is a tier 3 colleges and top 25 to 30 colleges in any state or good state will belong to that category and i will show the colleges of the tier 3 also in this video and the fourth category is tier 4 college where your chances of getting job is very low or even negligible right typically government engineering colleges in uh, karnataka is a very having a very low chance of getting jobs so i will explain those also so let's start with the four tiers right so within these four tiers i have created a sub tier just to explain you how you define the tiers right how potential is so if you see the 1.1 right within the tier 1 1.1 are the colleges which are old established iits triple iits or even the bits pilani so they they are the placements are excellent those are the tier 1 1.1 is they are also the iits but the placements uh, it's a new iit so the placements are little, little less than the first ones but they are actually also doing very good so that's our 1.2 1.3 are tiers are basically the colleges which are not even iit and iit but their placements are excellent because they are nits for example nit surat kal which is in our own karnataka or nit trichy nit warangal in those colleges placements are excellent even better than new iits right so that's why i am putting that in 1.3 tier 1 and 1.3 then the fourth you know is 1.4 i am putting the good campuses of other bits pilanis right like your hyderabad campus goa campus or triple it's like like elabad right those are also having excellent so they are also a tier 1 college though they are not iits though they are not triple uh, nits but at least the triple it's and the well known bits pilanis of the campuses right so i am putting them in 1.4 so those are the tier 1 college now i will 
move to the second category college right which are the tier 2 college now here also you will see most of the triple ITs and NITs right so if you see college like triple IT Bangalore which has excellent placement right and uh, it is almost like a top you can put them in tier 1 also but uh, as per the NRF ranking I put them in tier 2 and they have excellent opportunities definitely and uh, it's a candidate of tier 1 also so triple IT Bangalore triple IT Delhi triple IT and the, then another uh, older triple IT is Gwalior, Lucknow and the you know new uh, NIT is established like Motilal Nehru in Allahabad or NIT of Durgapur, NIT of so these are all NITs right very established college and very excellent placement or a good placement it happens so I have put in them in 2.1 and 2.2 categories. So still in the trip uh, in the category two colleges right in the tier two colleges I have created 2.3 where there is above average placement. So these are you know Allen Mittal Institute of Information Technology very good uh, placement above average placements or any of the other NITs right like NIT Jamshedpur, NIT Patna, NIT Raipur right. So I have studied from the NIT Raipur as you see in this sheet right. So I have done my engineering from NIT Raipur and this is above average placement. So I have put them in the tier two above two point three in a category and then the la in the same category i'm also putting our own rv college of engineering which has the best placement in terms of you know and then you can also consider even B bms college of engineering in, in in this category or the pes university those are also 2.3 category colleges and some other older nits right um, right uh, which uh, which have a decent placement so i'm putting them in the tier 4 college so you can consider a rv college of engineering bms college of engineering pes university and those some of those now I am moving to tier 3 colleges right so we saw first three colleges and then there are more uh, big big brand names here right we, which you know which has also high paying jobs but not everybody will be getting the high paying jobs so we'll start with the colleges like you know Manipal main campus Vellore VIT Vellore right here and then uh, SRM you can say uh, Ramaya Institute of Technology right our own so those colleges uh, Miti University KIT Bhubaneswar all those are well known right so I put them in 3.1 and 3.2 also another you know state colleges like uh, BMS College of engineering Dayanand Sagar College of Engineering so they can be considered in 3.1 also 3.2 also but these so few people will be getting very high decent paying jobs but rest of the people will be getting in the range of 5 lakhs 6 lakhs 7 lakhs 8 lakhs 9 lakhs right so I'm putting that in the category 3 3.2 and you see few colleges from Bangalore so these are the tier 3 colleges from Karnataka I have put a big list right so these are the, all the tier RV college I mentioned BMS college these are all tier 3 colleges MS Ramaya, PS University, University V UVC then you can see the JSS college in Mysore right PS University the NI Mysore then Dhanan Sagar I mentioned Bangalore Institute of Te 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 Technology BIT and then some more colleges like Siddha Ganga you know BMS IT Bangalore KLE Technological University in Hubli or NMAM Nitte or BNMIT Bangalore and then RVITM which is going to have a placement with RV College, MVIT, RNSIT, Nitti Minakshi, Ambedkar the main campus. Even other colleges like you know New Horizon, Vidya Vardaka in Mysore, JSSAT, KLS Gokte in Belagam and the Ambedkar other camp. So up to this page you know which is SDM College of Engineering, MS Ramaya University, CMRIT, NI Institute of Technology Mysore and the PES Mandya right up to this page I have covered 30 colleges in Karnataka. So these 30 colleges maximum you can consider as the tier 3 colleges right. So anything which is beyond this uh, list right 30 colleges right which will be you know uh, one or two more colleges you can add to the list I don't have any problems maximum 2 to 4 colleges but those are all tier 3 colleges. And now the colleges which you don't see in the list uh, till now are basically the tier 4 colleges right and then in the tier 4 colleges you can you pick up any college based on fees which offer lesser fees based on city wherever you are staying you take in that call city proximity to the home take very near to home so that you can travel see in these colleges your package will be going to be only 4 lakhs 5 lakhs right so if for getting 4 lakhs 5 lakhs 6 lakhs average salary you don't need to go out of your city you don't need to go um, in a very different place from your current home or you know, so here you know there may be a challenge in getting all the students place 30 to 40 percent placement will be there in the most of the branches maybe computer science 
sometimes 50 to 60 or 50 to 70 percent placement will be there but rest of the branch uh, placements in these colleges will be 20 percent 30 percent 40 percent so you know decide based on the above factors which one you should take and whichever tier 4 college you are going to take you have to work hard very high to get a job right and even to get a good paying jobs right so that's all i have to cover and in the next video i'm going to cover how to decide upon the branches right from the top order branch to the lower order branch so you should keep you know tuned in and i will uh, give some more details upon that right thank you for watching and please do subscribe to channel to get similar updates